get the shit. All right. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today is the third. Elias is en route to um, the airport. Him and Kenny will be in San Diego tomorrow for um, a quick turnaround event. So you already know how I get down. We are about to get this meeting started. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we will get this show on the road. Um, show screen. Okay. All right. All right, cool beans. Karina, can you help me? If you can, um, I know you're monitoring who's coming in and out, but um, as we get in the slides, if we have certain people on the line, shouldn't be too hard. You got it. Uh, thank you. All right. Um, do we have any guests on the line? Is there anybody? In our class of 30, all right, keep it moving. All right, uh, community contributions. September is here and upon us, just coming out of Labor Day weekend, but do we have any events um, happening uh, across our board in any of our communities? Anything? Nope, nope, no raised hands. Not only that, but I just want to give everyone a heads up to like, continue looking at the calendar as we'll be throwing more events on there for educational and all that. Just keep an eye out. Okay. Um, and then I know um, one happening um, this month, he's not on the call, I don't see him, but um, I added to the calendar last night. Um, a lot of you guys know, or maybe you don't know, Demian does the Alameda uh, County Food Bank. A volunteer session. So I did post on the calendar last night. Um, September's event is on the 12th. Um, and then the one for October is on the 10th. So I know I myself have tried to get out there, but they usually just was conflict of interest because they fell within our meeting time. Um, but I noticed uh, this month and next month are on Thursday. So if you haven't gone, uh, I'm definitely going to try to attend um, one of those sessions, but I did post that. Um, on the calendar. And so if nobody has anything else to share, we will keep this train moving. Uh, and don't forget about the NACA Home Buyer Workshop. Um, Saturday, September 28th, 9 to 1, Delta College in Stockton. So everybody, NACA Home Buyer Workshop. Okay. Um, I can't check on the screen right now, Chris, but if it's not up there, if you shoot me the details, I can just add it to the calendar on cool. the team calendar, even if it's we'll just location in time. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, all right, people, let's keep it moving. All right, so we are going to hop into your favorite category of the call, new escrow. So let's check out and see who we have all right, Cynthia and Nina out on Bethel Island. I got it, Chris. Um, with the deal for two thirty. I don't know if these ladies are on the call. Sin's here. Hi, Sin. Hey guys, I'm still getting ready for the day, so I'm gonna be doing my office. <laughs> no worries. Congrats <laughs> to you and Nina. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, this buyer came to us by way of a referral, and it was through the ABR referral platform. So if you guys haven't already gotten your accredited buyer representative um, accreditation, accreditation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would definitely suggest doing that and then filling out your profile because the agent there, he said the way that he found me was I was one of the only people that had their profile filled out. So it's a great accreditation to have. Plus, uh, it's a really great referral source, as you can see. Oh, the joys and look, the benefits of having a complete profile. What, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? You yeah. Know. And, and Nina has been so helpful throughout all this. I legit could not have physically done this without Nina for sure. So thanks, Nina. Oh, congrats to the both of you. And just because you mentioned that, um, Cynthia, like literally before we hopped on um, this call, um, Karina, uh, Kenny and I were talking about profiles as simple, as basic as they may seem. 
a lot of our agents on certain and even key websites um for agents do not have complete profiles. So I just say this to say that if you guys, you know, don't have the time to sit there and fill out, you know, repeat information, broker, email, phone, whatever, tap in with Barbie on our team. If you give her the credentials or the sites, she can go ahead and complete all that for you in the background. You could just go back and double check that as up. But headshots, who your broker is, your contact information, you never know where these clients are going to come from. And more often than not, it's going to be something like this, that they found you because you had a complete profile. So again, if you don't have the time or you don't feel like doing it, we have support on the team that can handle that for you. But it is important. We talk about that in onboarding. It's a basic fundamental. Complete the profiles. Headshots included. We offer free headshots. So there's not a reason why you shouldn't have um, one up on any of these. So again, we're here to support you. Take advantage. All righty. Moving right along. Patrick and Brett, both flex deals, got into contract for their clients. Are either of these two gentlemen on the call? I thought I saw someone in the car, maybe not. Okay. All right. Well, if you see these fellas, um, send them some kudos. Congrats you two for getting into contract, both flex deals. All right, moving right along. Jen and Raymond got into contract up in Newman, 561. Um, I don't think these two are on the call. Nope. All righty, cool beans. Congrats, you two. All right, so Mandy and Jessica got into contract in Vallejo for 595 and Ophelia uh, out in Vacaville for 650. So Mandy... Let's see. Hi, Brandy. I'm like, I can't see who's in the background with you. But um, did I see some Mandy? I'm here. There you go. I'm working from Thank home you for today. coming out to Walnut Creek and helping <laughs> us with the logistics of the item. So um, yeah, I will let you talk about your client, but thank you. Thank you. Um, I've been working with this client for a while. I don't know, like five months. They finally are buying um, social media where I met them. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, okay. They found they found you or you or Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got yeah. You. So they're like my friends, friends. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. All righty. Is Ophelia on? Nope. Okay, Fairfield. I see you, Hugo and Michael. All righty. Well, again, congrats to you three. Moving right along. Cynthia, ooh, Cynthia, two deals, one in Oakland, the other one in Oakland. Cynthia, you can pass if you want. I know you're getting ready. Did you want to talk about either one of these transactions you got into contracts for? Um, No, but while I have the mic, don't forget to do self-care because it is hard, so hard getting people into contracts. So don't forget to do your self-care. All right. Thank you and congrats again. All right. Moving right along. All right. The trio here, Peter, Dewey, and Coon got into contract for 820 out in Emeryville. Did I see Coon walk in the office? I see Peter. Any one of you three want to talk about this client? Well, don't. Uh, yeah. It was a, a, a Redfin lead. And um, I mean, it was just really easy because they were all cash. Dad's really rich. <laughs> Not much else to say about that. <laughs> um, yeah, super easy. All right, sweet. Well, congrats to you three on that. Moving right along. Katie, I'm gonna for 843 and again peter and dewey for a deal out in linden for 860 um i don't think katie and bondana are on the call peter anything interesting you want to share about this client or was this another easy peasy deal uh standard deal but more so in just so the power of social media uh this one she was a, a classmate of mine from high school like a, a year older so I, I never hung out with her because you know, older older class never wants to hang out with the junior class um but she followed my ig for a while and then she just reached out and 
we linked up. So I didn't even know she was following me. Mm, okay, interesting, interesting. But nonetheless, congrats to you guys um, for getting into contract. All right, moving right along. Coon with the flex deal, two big ones out in Hayward for one, two and Concord for one, three. Delaney out in Loomis with the deal for one, four. Coon, you want to take the mic and um, tell us about your clients that you got into contract? Hello. Uh, for Hayward, they fell in love with me. You know, charming. But they have family members that's been in the real estate for a while and they was like, yeah, we don't like them. We'll go with you. I'm like, yeah, if I was you, I would too. But uh, for Conquer, I met them at Kenny and Jung Hee's uh, open house that I did for them, the Skyline one that they got in contract. And little do they know, they have realtors too, but yeah, they just went with me instead. And that was... Was that the flex deal or Conquer was the flex deal? Uh, Hayward was flex deal. Oh, Hayward was flex. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, congratulations. Let's see. All right. Moving right along. Kenny. No, <laughs> Kenny and got into contract. 749 out in Richmond. Katie and Bondana out in Livermore for 873. Kenny, you want to share anything about your deal? Yeah, this one uh, was a uh, was a referral through my lender last year. He gave me over a dozen deals. Um, Jason Mata, one of my favorite lenders, because he really sent me so much business. Uh, this client, all most of his clients he sent us are, are pre approved. So this was a California dream for all. One of the very lucky, I think, two thousand people that got accepted in contract. This originally the buyer works in. I mean, the buyer works something in Fremont, so he's looking for something close to there. But it, everything in this kind of like eight hundred grand price range was all condos and Mercy took him out to Brentwood and he decided he found something he liked. So we got the, they wanted to take an offer, our offer, but the sellers had gotten their offer um, rejected a couple of times because at, they wanted to sell their house contingent on ours. So house was sitting on the market, I think 60 days, we came in under assing, they bumped it up a bit, we got a contract. Uh, this is what I found out over the weekend that the people with the Dream for All lottery that when they win, you can actually extend it past September. So then the buyer was kind of need an extra day or two decided if he wanted to move forward because he thought he could be back in the game shopping for more. But we were able to gain contract. Um, and then good news, I just saw my email half an hour ago that the sellers also got their offer accepted on the replacement property. So we're going to do it, send the close on on this side. Uh, so. I had yet to make, meet the client, but this client has a lot of questions. So the team up between me and Rusia was good because this guy was asking questions about everything, about condos versus townhouses versus HOA versus this and this area versus that. So I know Marissa is really, really busy. He's he's uh, probably one of his best years this year. So um able to like have a really good group chat with this guy. And yeah, so we're, we're in contract and I hope to meet the client soon. Sweet. All right. Penny, just a seller deal, not the buyers. Yeah. Is it? Oh, same price. And oh, Oh wait, I got two contracts this week. Um, <laughs> I've done. I had this email up <clears throat> with the deal. Okay, this, this other deal I got in contract in Richmond um, was a referral through my ESP agent friend that I talked to uh, quite a bit. I sent her some business. She sent me some. Um, was a divorce sale. Me and I, me and Julie was supposed to meet with this client, but couldn't get, can, couldn't came in to, uh, on this day to help me out. Uh, we short long story short, the listing it the. The agent that brought in the deal was supposed to get this listing many, many months ago. She lives across the street and so does the neighbor. So it's a little triangle there. Uh, but we were able to put the put the deal together through off-market sale. And the power of social media, because originally she valued this house at way, way less if she were to do dual agency, which is very likely going to happen. Uh, but then the attorneys had recommended they talk to someone get a second opinion. Uh, we I was able to sell this house for over uh, over 100 grand, more than they originally thought they would sell it at. Um, and then, so the original agent still got her cut. She brought in the buyer and then I'm representing the seller. And then I posted online. This is like, we would not, have got, we would not have been able to get this price had I not talked about, Hey, today I'm meeting the seller here in Richmond for this, uh, four bed, two bath home about this, this size. Hey, the meeting went great. This is what it looks like. Hey, we just took polls today. This is what's going on the property. And then one, one of my friends on, on IG that used to be on this team too, hit me up and had a buyer for us. 
So, so couldn't met with them like a couple days later after the inspections, they wrote the offer. So I was able to use that offer to leverage to get a much higher offer for my sellers. The sellers wanted to give first priority to the neighbors. Like it was very unlikely they would sold it to the investor, but having that offer from the investor through Instagram uh, was able to get my, my seller a much more higher price than originally. So if we had not done that, we would likely just, I don't think the buyers would wrote this high. We went to market as a fixer. It, we need like a hundred, probably 150 grand worth of work. Um, but we were able to get it done for off, uh, off market because of social media. And thank you, Kun, for helping on that too. Social media. <laughs> social media for the win. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Moving. All right. Cool. So those were our escrows for the week. Here are our year to date stats. Last week, 16 new escrows. Kudos to you guys for hustling. Um, bringing in uh, a little over 12 mil in production. Um, I believe this morning we were talking, we were back up to 100 um, esc or pending um, escrows, but there's your shot, a uh, screenshot for the week. So again, kudos to everybody for hustling um, and bringing those deals home. All right, moving on. Looking ahead, all right, our favorite part, we're nearing the end of the meeting, but um, what do we have coming up? So again, this um, show continues to perform. So this week, um, again, we're continuing the buyer representation and script role play training, follow up, tap in, it's always good. This is forever evolving and moving. Um, but this week, Karina and Elias will still be hosting it. So this Thursday at 10 a.m., and tomorrow we have follow-up boss training. So if you're new to the team, if you've been on the team, you have questions, um, I think it's going to be a good intro. We have these set up uh, quarterly live. Um, I'm not sure yet, Karina, if we said that we were going to record it, um, but it's always best to attend these live training sessions. Um, and so again, if you're not able to make this one, we do have them already up on the calendar. Um, but tomorrow, tap in... Um, on the team calendar for the link, but tomorrow at 1130, follow up boss training. Um, the usual fast trend, you can scan the QR code, see what's happening in social media, what's trending, uh, need content, inspiration, ideas. Um, again, record our shredders are on board to help you guys put together those reels and videos. Um, I don't have I got a quick plug for event. That's not real estate related. Um, going to this, this don't die summit. If you guys are interested in living forever, uh, it, it could be learn to biohack stuff like that. It's in San Francisco. It's like 200 bucks. It's nine. It's nine to 6 PM event at pier 35. Just drop the link in there. If it's when, like when is that one? Uh, this Sunday, uh, entire day. Okay, cool. Um, and I think that's it. And then that wraps it up for today's meeting. Before I close out, um, Karina, Kenny, anybody on the team, if you joined us late, um, have a mention for any kind of community events. Um, speak now, forever hold your peace. No. Anybody have anything before we wrap up? No raised hands. All right. Let's make it a smooth one, people. Thanks for attending. Have a great week.